<laughs> All right, so I, I introduced you as NBC Sports Network's Kyle Martino, but uh, is is Fox's reality celebrity high diving competition stars in danger? Is that a, is that a better way to introduce you from here on out? Is you got a new gig? Basically, my title's too big to fit on my desk. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm working on getting a longer desk so I can fit the title. Well, you got to tell me how you how you got that gig. Yeah, so I mean, I. Um, you know, ever since getting involved in television through soccer, I've kind of fallen in love with the idea of uh, just being, you know, on camera, being a personality, just uh, being a part of fun things and just having a blast. And I went in and met with some of the people at Fox when I was there doing the show. And some things had come up in the past where they wanted me to come in and host some things for them. And it didn't really fit with my schedule. And this time around, uh, it did. And it's, you know, I think Michael Strahan's got it figured out. I'm just chasing down Michael Strahan. <laughs> did you know you were gonna, wanted to do this when you were playing or even when you were in college? Yeah, you know what's funny? When I was playing, um, they actually, they did the, a show for David Beckham and they had done a couple MLS shows where they gave me a camera and let me sort of run around and uh, just goof off and be myself. And I had at that point fallen a little bit in love with the idea of being a sort of an on-air personality, whether it was in sports or not, after my career was done. Uh, but I thought my career would end around 38, and uh, <laughs> instead it ended at 28. So I've had a lot more time to work on it lately. Now, are you at the point where, like for the Stars in Danger, did you just get the gig, or did they have to? Did they make you come in and, and do some read-throughs? Yeah, I had to go through the full audition process. Kyle, and, come on! And, You're and too big for that! It was actually cool. I actually, the way I got the gig is I actually went into audition for X Factor and made it down to the last four guys for that. And uh, I guess my dimples weren't big enough. So <laughs> Mario Lopez got the gig instead of me. And uh, and that led to this Stars and Danger thing. I actually didn't have to audition for that. Based off of my X Factor audition, they let me... Uh, they let me take the job. So do you have like an agent now, like a Hollywood agent? I'm a big deal, man. I, yeah, I've got, I, I'm, I, I was going to refer you to my agent, but I like you guys too much. Um, I, and now I'm a little confused. What if you had gotten the X Factor gig? Would you have had to give up your, your soccer responsibilities? No, I mean, soccer is always my first love. And, and NBC is an amazing place. I'm so happy there. They are first position. They are my priority. And they have been so great about understanding that's something I'm passionate about too, which is, you know, building an on air sort of hosting career. And, um, it, it will never be at the expense of having to give up my weekend job. That's something I love very much and will always be doing. So you're going to be like Ryan Seacrest. You're going to have like 75 gigs. You're going to be producing reality shows on E. You're going to have the whole nine yards going. I just want a much more complicated life <laughs> where I have issues and people trying to sue me and stuff like that. That's what I just dream about. No off season for you. That's what your that's your goal. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's what it used to be. You know, me and Landon Donovan are complaining every now and then about not having an off season, but uh, well, but you, now I'm ready to just get busy. You brought it up, so let's let's start getting into let's talk about U.S. national team first, since uh, they're they're the most pressing issue. They've got a friendly uh, yeah. on on January 29th at, at BBVA Compass versus uh, uh, Canada. Mm -hmm. I guess my question is, with the MLS guys in and with World Cup qualifying literally right around the corner after that friendly. Is there anybody who isn't in the setup or hasn't been in the setup for the last year? Can anybody pop and, and make a difference in the immediate World Cup qualifiers or even down the road? Yeah, you know, I mean, it's tough. You saw Jurgen saying there's anywhere from four to nine, which is a wide range of guys that could potentially be involved in the qualifying cycle. You know, the game against Canada is an interesting one because – They've already said they're bringing in a younger team. It's a great opportunity to see what guys are made of, but yet yeah, still a far cry from a, a World Cup qualifier. So even someone that blows it out in that game, it's still hard to know with the, the atmospheres that you go up against in World Cup qualifying, how pressured it is, all, the fact that all these European guys are going to come in, they're not used to playing with them. You know, There's still a lot of variables, but I would say guys that have come in that are new, that have impressed early, um, are guys like Omar Gonzalez. You know, he's back in the mix. I think uh, he's one of the the best answers, whether it's short term or long term, to a center to an aging center back position. Um, and he's done well in camp. I was there in training the other day. Although they hardly ever brought out a soccer ball, you could tell that the coaches were happy with Omar. Another name 
is sort of a blast from the past that I think is getting a little bit of momentum here is Benny uh, Filehaber. He, you know, he's skillful. He's kind of the exact player you'd think Jurgen would love. He loves his defensive two-way midfielders that are good on the ball, that can play this possession game. Um, he's gaining in confidence. I chatted with him a little bit over at the Home Depot Center. I think he made a fabulous move, and Sporting made a fabulous move uh, in acquiring him in the off season to fit into that system that plays a lot like the U.S. Uh, is trying to play. So I-, I would say those are early guys. Will Bruin's an interesting one. Yeah, I think he's a little bit raw. I still think he needs to figure out uh, the game when he doesn't have the ball. He's gotten a lot better since he's been at Houston figuring out running off the ball. But he has that strength to hold the ball up. Uh, he has that finishing ability in the box, and I think Jurgen's been happy with him. Yeah, uh, Will Bruins was a name that I kind of had circled. Uh...